Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm gonna to react to the best burger in Los Angeles. Now, this should be an interesting one because I imagine LA has a ton of great burger places, a ton of probably any type of food. So to narrow down, you know, the four best ones and then pick a favorite out of all of those is gonna be a very difficult task. And this is of interest to me because I've never been to LA, but it's one of those places that's near the top of my list of places to visit, just to see what the vibe is like, if it's as, as cool and as glamorous as I've been made out to believe. So yeah, this is gonna be a fun one to watch. So let's do it. Ooh. Oh wow, look at the thickness of that one on the left. Damn. My name is Joe and I'm on a quest to find the best burger in Los Angeles. I love eating burgers so much. Oh, yeah. And God. today, I'm despite my cardiologist's already. advice, I'm eating at four <laughs> of the best burger spots in Los Angeles. Despite my cardiologist's advice. <laughs> find out who has the best burger in LA. All right. Here's the deal. To make sure this is the most burgerful day, I comb through best of lists on Ooh. Thrillist, The Infatuation, Eater LA, and Bloomberg, then cross-reference their top picks on Yelp, whittling the list down to four of the top LA burgers. I'm ready to eat. I took an extra dose of atorvastatin and met up with Los Angeles <laughs> burger expert and magnificent beard this haver, Jeff Miller. He's joining the quest and was nice enough to give me a rundown of today's burgers. First, I want to go to Tommy's. Tommy's is like one of those institutions that's been around for decades and decades. What is that? Sort of one of the places that established burger culture what was in that? LA. Is that chili? That's a lot of chili. It's a stone cold classic. Sweet, I've heard amazing things about Animal and they have this bone marrow burger, uh, right? Animal's burger is crazy. It's, it has this unctuousness. Mm. I've never tasted in a burger before. It's a great choice. Pine Burger is in Pasadena where they created like the one. cheeseburger. I don't know that Pine like Burger was the creator of the cheeseburger. It's actually considered one of the best burgers in the country. Burgers never say die. New guys in town, what's up with them? It's such a great story. This guy started it like literally in his driveway, putting up pictures on Instagram. And he wow. makes this griddle patty smashed so it's crusty on the outside and like really, really great flavor on the inside. Mm. This like small burger Looks that like is so delicious. It is packed full of flavor. Classic. Enough talk. Burger. Let's get started. Tommy's has been on my radar since I moved to Los Angeles. If there's one place that was on every best burger in LA list, it is Tommy's. When you order Tommy's hamburger, it comes with chili. Family lure says that he started selling a, a, a recipe or a chili sauce on top of his burgers and hot dogs back in the 40s, and oh, it caught man. on. So I'm, not the I'm super curious about this because I've never had chili in a burger before, but I, I reckon it's I reckon it goes well. Biggest chili guy, it's fine, right? From the Midwest, we'd have it when it's cold out. The fact that this chili burger has been around for like 70 years gives me hope. If anyone's doing it right, it's probably these guys. That stand is open 365 days a year. Uh, when Tom started on May 14th, 1956, he would wow. just sit there and make 70 burgers all day. years ago. He, he lived here, literally. He was absolutely uh, married to this idea that he was going to feed Angelino's burgers, chili, his chili burger, when they were, were, wanted it. Tommy's wouldn't be Tommy's without its signature chili. It's made daily in-house with a secret blend of spices. This location has three 90-gallon kettles, and it goes through roughly 180 gallons a day. On a weekend, wow. they'll go through... Gallons? They'll go through hundreds of gallons, a thousand of gallons. Tommy's makes that chili nice and thick, so it sits on the burger perfectly. It's like a classic LA institution. Yeah. So, ah, I need one of those. Tommy's chili burger. To eat in burgers in Los Angeles is to eat at Original Tommy's. Yeah. And you have to come to Tommy's I mean, if you're going to do a burger trip in LA. <laughs> wow. I got it. You think chili burgers? You're like, you're gonna, the thing's going to go everywhere, right? Right. It's like still packed in there. You saw how they thickened up their, their special secret recipe of the chili. It's almost like the glue that keeps this delicious burger together. Mm. This thing, it's like a masterpiece. 465, that's really, that's actually really um, fair, like reasonable. Of chili and burger and cheese and bun. Probably a more eloquent way to say that, but I'm just enjoying this way. <laughs> I'm just enjoying this way too much. I'm just like, food, cheese, meat, mouth, good. Well, my family's been coming here for like 40 years, so yeah. it's just a family tradition. It's just one of the places you just come back to. For less than five bucks? Right now I'm on my way to Animal. I'm impressed. 
They oh. have a bone <laughs> marrow burger. I believe it's called the Boner Burger. <laughs> the it just looks out. incredible. I think I'm lost. Where am I going? Ah, uh, construction! The burger has bone marrow in it. Ooh, what? That sounds thick. amazing and delicious. What is this guy doing? <sighs> Everything's taking forever. Animal sort of in all of its history has been a little different than, it, and than every other restaurant. So we wanted to make a burger. Never seen a burger that looks like this ever that kind of showcase what animal was Some things you have to be conscious of because there's bone marrow like mixed within there i would assume that the marrow would start melting and fall apart i don't know anything by the way i mean that's part of the reason this burger we serve rare that's to keep the bone marrow locked in animal uses a japanese robotic grill so the chef can move the patty around keeping it away from the flame and cooking it low and slow i am not familiar with this grill but with this bone marrow patty cooking on it it smells incredible <laughs> once we pulled the burger off the grill i have our our cheese mix here. It's a uh, Monterey Jack cheese, uh, roasted poblano peppers, and caramelized red onions. What? Uh, I'm freaking out. I want this so bad. It's gonna Thank be you. so Thank good. Thank you for dude. recommending this. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> Even the bun is unique. A combo rye from Diamond Bakery down the street. Everything I'm hearing is like... It looks great, but I can guarantee you this is not gonna be as cheap as the other one. I'm reckoning... I reckon 10 bucks. I reckon $10. No one else can make this burger. Yeah, I mean, don't forget the patty that also has, you know, not just their meat blend, but also yeah. the bone marrow. I mean, it's all, every ingredient yeah. is like very specific. Next, the chef adds Animal's very own 420 sauce, and nice, to the toasted rye. Then the burger's in the bun. They add a little more 420 sauce, and we are ready to eat. I'm so excited, this looks incredible. And you're kind of the reason that people know about this because you'd written about it. I don't want to take too much credit, but they were oh, they were please. doing it as a secret, and I wrote about the secret and uh -huh. secrets out, you know. Secrets out. <laughs> secrets All right. Out. Ooh, twenty dollars, twenty bucks. Do it. Right. Take a bite. Wow, it's so rich. So what you mean. Part of the idea is that it has that melty bone marrow mouthfeel yeah. with like the flavors that you associate with the burger, you know, and sort of the ability to eat it like a sandwich. This is like a, like the best gourmet burger I've ever had, just with everything together works so perfectly. Jeff, you get a little 420 sauce on your hand. 420 sauce? <laughs> Look at the camera. Yeah. 420 sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Los Angeles. 420 <laughs> sauce, I mean. Now, let's go to Pasadena for pie and burger. I don't know if I can uh, handle that traffic, but you have fun. It's a great burger. It's like a classic American griddle burger. You're gonna love it. Mm -hmm. Hopped up on red meat and stuck in LA traffic. I would still have to pick the first one. Even though the second one looked good, I would have preferred it in a regular burger bun. I don't think that bread was enough, uh, enough bread for, uh, you know, that burger. Like I'm ready for burger number three. Pie and Burger looks like an old school diner setup. I think it's been there since like the 60s. Lately they've become kind of like this foodie destination. Oh, you know, I was gonna go and then I couldn't go because you just cut me off. I'm going. I know, sorry buddy. In the burger world, there's everyone has their idea of what a burger should be. And we're sort of thought mm. uh, of that we're the classic California burger. And sometimes it's really hard. You can't be all yep. things to all people. Why not concentrate on what makes you That's really, my kind really of good burger. and just try and do it better than everybody else? Since 1963, Pie and Burger has been dishing up burgers from the same location in Pasadena. It has a wonderfully old school vibe to it, down to the milkshake machine and cash register. This burger is as wow. classic that as the fresh register. beef patty cooked on a flat top grill, topped with lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles, and house-made Thousand Island dressing. If I'm here, I'm doing it right, so I ordered a strawberry milkshake with my burger, which by the way, is incredible. When you go, don't sleep on the milkshakes. Mm. Everything about this cream is delicious. The way the sauce and the, and the onions are kind of pouring out of it. Looks well, incredible, man. It's big too, man, like. A 10 bucks, yeah, I'd pay, I'd pay that. It's a big burger, and if it comes with fries, yeah. Big burger. This thing is fantastic. It's the so Thousand Island the sauce combined with the pickles and the meat all together. Perfect, dude. I'm floored about how good this is. Like, this is what you think about when you daydream about eating hamburgers. Pretty much been making this exact hamburger for, you know, half a century, and it's amazing. Things kind of slow down in a place like this, it feels like, and it's just nice to sit and enjoy a burger. But they put so much care into making each one of these ingredients not only the best they could be, but also work perfectly together. Nothing else tastes like this. It's called Pie and Burger. Gotta try the pie, it's in the title. This pie is perfect. Oh, wow. 
Just come back and do a video oh, on the pies. Okay. Jeff. Pie and ice cream, great combo. Dude, you're missing out. I really like Thousand Island on my burger, you know, and then they put the pickled chips in there, so it's kind of old school, but it's, uh, they're always consistently great. We always come here home for years. My kids all grew up here. Family, generations of families grow up in this restaurant, so. That was so great. Pie and burger is incredible. That burger was so good, I just realized I'm shooting this in the wrong aspect ratio, but I'm not <laughs> fixing it. I don't have time. I'm just so overwhelmed by how good that was. I'm shooting this thing wrong and I apologize. Definitely worth a trip to Pasadena. Jeff, I feel you not wanting to fight the traffic to get here. I am gonna come back very often to go to Pie and Burger. Yeah, just get into my lane, it's fine. Yeah, you don't need to, you don't need to, don't use the signal, it's cool. I'm not going anywhere. I got one place left to go. Burgers never say die. Interesting name, Burgers Never On second off. thought, I waited a couple days because it's not easy going to four different burger places in one day, but I'm rested, I changed my clothes, I got a haircut I don't like, and now I am here at Burgers Never- If I was him, I would have done it on maybe every other day to give it a little break. Three in one day, I mean, you're not gonna enjoy the uh, the fresh taste of the burger, I think. Never say die, I'm so excited to check this place out. The food looks incredible, so let's go. Jeff couldn't join us today because he had a prior engagement. Also, I forgot to call him. Anyway, Burgers <laughs> Never Say Die started only a few he years ago in Sean Nee's backyard, and it's quickly become an underground sensation. Apparently, there's laws against opening a restaurant in your backyard, so Sean and company moved into their own space in Silver Lake. I never planned on opening a restaurant. I just planned to make burgers in my backyard, and if, and if uh, people didn't like them, at least my friends liked them, and we had this nice, you know, street griddle that I could cook on. It gradually evolved on its own, and I really enjoyed doing it. Somebody offered me the chance to open up a restaurant, so I just decided to do it. The new space is a hit with long lines of customers waiting to get a taste of the signature Smashburg. It's I've never tried a Smashburger before. Top of cheese, then dressed up deceitfully simple. Ketchup, mustard, onions, and pickles. That's it. What? Keep it My simple. Burger is oh, very yes. thin. You drop the ball on the griddle. You have a, some type of smasher. Cooking smash burgers is, is inherently inconsistent because you just don't know how the meat's going to react once it's on the griddle with the fat content and things like that. So uh, every time you're cooking, you're always adjusting for whatever. The space inside is very minimal. I love how it looks. I love the consumed burgers. It's a reference to they live, I assume. Burgers Never Say Die doesn't have its own dining area. It has a like the look of coffee burger, shop. Man. It's lunch like time. It. It's packed. So I'm just gonna eat here in the parking lot. I don't think there's anything wrong with eating burgers in a I'm getting a burger. After this, I'm getting myself a burger. Parking lot, so that's what I'm gonna do. Please do not judge me. You see how flat it is. I mean, this is a stark contrast to all the other burgers we've had here. But it smells amazing. It's really crispy. You saw them coming off the grill, just pushing them down there and putting this bright yellow American cheese on it. Looks amazing. I gotta bite into this. <laughs> oh my God. Believe, believe the hype. Wow. The flavor alone on the meat, the char, oh my goodness. It's inside my favorite inside, one. It's something like make sure you get two or always order two. It looks the best, Dude, in my opinion. Four. Double cheeseburger sounds like a lot, but it's actually pretty thin. So I could easily, I mean, like I'm almost done with this one. And I'm just gone. If the lines, if the, if the wait is that long, might as well. Yo, all matte black Tesla. Sick. I saw that on the way over here. Ooh. <laughs> all right. Get as many as you could possibly afford and hoard them. You look at how simple the menu is. You look how simple the ingredients are. And you think, how good could this be? Seven it's bucks. Excellent. How do you argue I with that price? What you think. Damn. Thin is the way to go because it gets nice and crispy. Top three burger parking lot experiences. <laughs> Easily. I think the flavor is unlike any burger I've ever had. And I also think that, especially like coming from the backyard, like that feeling of being a part of something. I really want to try one of these smashed burgers, man. I'm gonna see if I can find somewhere in London that does one like this. New is exciting to people. I like the crispiness of the edges and like the burgers like are really buttery. It's very simple and like that's it. And it speaks for itself. Mm. Wow! I reckon he's picking the last one. Every single burger I had for this video was incredible and unique, and it's hard to pick a favorite because I loved all of them, and in my opinion, are all A-plus burgers. If you ever get a chance to eat any of these burgers, make it your business to do so. You will not be disappointed. But I have to pick a favorite, or Heron and Emily will kill me. <laughs> Before I do that, let's just do a quick recap, even though you literally just watched me eat all this food. Tom. It's easy to see why they've been around for 70 years. The burgers were fantastic. I was so impressed with the chili and how it pairs perfectly with the burgers. Animal, 
putting bone marrow in a burger is a stroke of genius. And with their 420 sauce, 420 bro, and rye bread, they've created one of the best, most unique burger experiences in Los Angeles. Pie and burger. Everything about this burger, from the patty to the Thousand Island dressing, all came together on my taste buds like good. Voltron, and I was floored. Burgers never say die. Their backyard burger success story is no fluke. I really love the simplicity and attention to quality their smash burger has. And making a flat like that just makes the edges crispy, oh man, so great. Dude, I'm literally worried that the three places that I don't pick are gonna like blackball me or be really bad at me. Like I'm worried, I don't wanna get on the bad side. Hi, this is Sydney from Insider and I just wanted to pop in and say, no one is mad at Joe and no one's gonna blackball him. He gets worried about stuff like this for no reason, literally all the time. I don't know why we all know a person like this, but you know, what can you do? Okay, back to the video. I don't know, anyway, I gotta pick one, so here we go. Okay, moment of truth. And my favorite is, Pie and burger. Ah. Every one of the burgers I had were great. But My second favorite one. was just transcendent. <laughs> Everything about it, from the patty, the delicious thousand island dressing, all the toppings just came together perfectly. This it does look is great. a masterpiece. Fit. I see now why people live in Pasadena. And I know, I get it, why didn't I review your specific favorite burger place in Los Angeles? Apple Pan, or Irv's, um, Howard's Bacon and Avocado Burger, or Father's <laughs> Office, or Fat Burger, or Oinsters. I mean, I know Yucca's on Hillhurst has an incredible cheeseburger I just had. It's really great. Why didn't I, why aren't they in the video? I didn't get to it. Yeah, I've got to say, Los Angeles has some good looking burger places, man. All of them looked fantastic, unique in their own way. The bone marrow burger with the thin slice of bread and uh, the juicy burger patty, the smash burger, which is personally my favorite looking one. Yeah, man, I'm definitely gonna get to LA this year. 100% it's happening. I just need to figure out when I can get, when I can go that I'd catch some football games and where I'm gonna stay and stuff like that. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.